Hi, it's Jessica coming to you from my kitchen. So I'm super excited. I have the new spring 2022 product, which is our deluxe multi cooker. I just got this. I am super excited to start using it. It is before March 1st. You're probably watching this video, you know, when this is released. Um, but I get to try this product out. I am so excited. And I did a comparison video. If you hadn't watched it before, you can tag me below and ask me for it to compare the Quick Cooker with this new upgrade. Quick Cooker still works great. The accessories both still fit in both of them. Um, this is just a great upgrade for the extra boost in cooking you want to try. I've never done sous vide cooking and that's what I'm doing here tonight. I never heard of sous vide cooking. Comment below, let me know if you've heard of it, if you've had it, if, if you don't know what it is. Um, I am super excited. So basically, it does take longer. Um, so you gotta plan ahead. Right now it's three o'clock. I'm going to eat dinner by six o'clock. So I'm gonna start cooking now and then I can just walk away, right? Um, not completely. Um, I'm gonna get all ready. We're gonna get the water up to temperature. So we're gonna take this lid right off. And I already put water in here. I filled it up to the halfway mark line. It's clearly indicated on the inside. Very easy to follow the directions in the booklet. Um, always, always for any, any of these that you use, always use your cooking guides. The air fryer, the grill and griddle, the quick cooker, the deluxe blender. They're all amazing products, especially if you use these guides to help you get going to really go off on your own or to go off the internet um, cooking too. Okay, so the quick cooker recipes can still be done in here, um, but I'm excited to do the sous vide cooking. So my husband decided to buy steak. We, you know, we didn't buy top of the line steak because let's face it, steak is expensive. He bought just uh, like a basic T-bone steak, not too pricey, because we want to see, we want to put this thing to the test because the sous vide cooking is supposed to make meat tender and juicy. And sometimes those tougher meats can be hard to make, to have the outcome become tender and juicy, right? I um, mean, you can give it all the flavor you want, but it still can be tough. So we're hoping that we're gonna cut into that meat. It's gonna be so juicy. I am so excited. So I filled the line up halfway. And then you follow your guide. We like medium. So I'm going to go to the steak and I'm gonna put it on medium. And then we just make sure we turn the dial to all these different amazing settings that we have here pre-made for you um, and we go to the sous vide setting so I'm there and let's put our lid on so we're not putting anything in there right now basically we're warming the water up to bring it to temperature first um, hold on I'm not going to put this on the side there we go all right so I've got my on and made a nice ding ready to use right so I'm on my sous vide cooking I'm going to press the button and I want the temperature at 135. It's on 135 from the last time I did it. And then we're gonna hold the button down because now I'm ready for it to run. It says run. I love that. And now this is going to guide me through, which I do like this feature on here. Um, it's got a dial here and it's gonna tell me how far along it's done. Okay, so right now we're just warming the water up. I think it's, if I remember correctly, it should take about 20 minutes, I believe. Um, I'm not quite positive, but I, when I ran through the instructions earlier, I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So basically, we're going to let the water warm up, and now we're going to prepare, uh, prepare the meat while we are waiting for that to happen. Now, Pamper Chuck did come out with some bags that you can use, and these bags are safe. Um, there's no, nothing is going to get in on your food or harmful chemicals coming from these bags they made specifically for this sous vide cooking. Um, you can also use it for your own produce to put in your fridge too. They are washable, um, resealable. It's a great way to reuse products rather than use the throwaways. You can also use, um, I think it was, I'm trying to remember, but you can use the seal tight bags um, from Hannaford or wherever you shop also you don't have to use these um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go grab my meat from the fridge and you can help follow me along <laughs> 